What's up guys, Radioactive Blue Gaming here and welcome back to some more Stormworks. Today we're gonna be um checking out this um HS something. Well that's the actual name, HS is the only part of it I remember. Wait, let me check. I know it's a tank hunter. Yeah, HS one twenty nine B three duck, yep. Um, it's a German plane, um, served in World War Two, and was designed to um take out tanks. It was more of a ground support aircraft in the war. You know, laying down had a giant tank cannon on it, but it actually worked. This one doesn't work; it just shoots lasers. You know, it's still a pretty good creation, but. Stormax has its limits on what you can do. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this episode of Stormax, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And let's get straight into the video. So, we're going to try and figure out a way to um, get up top. Maybe we can get on through the back. Oh, there's a handle. Okay. Let's just some on engine coolant. Turn the engine funnels to the max. Okay, there we go. We are now hopefully. So it went out of power. I think I turned up the propeller pitch a bit too high. Even though I do have an infinite electricity on, so it should still start. Yeah, the temperature seems to go down. Wait a second. Sorry for not talking that much. I'm um, just being... I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing in the air if we can get in the get it in the air, otherwise we're just gonna use it for time practice. Engines moved up. I have to hold it down. I overwave the engines. 
Oh no. I have to hold the engine down. Which is going to be a bit hard to fly with. I've spent a good five minutes. Okay, at least you're learning with me on how to fly it. Funnel. Okay, there we go. Hold it to its maximum. How do I hold this? Okay, landing gear up. I'm flying like this because I need to have two hands so I can't just and it's so hard to fly when you have to have one hand constantly on the accelerator to move it Doesn't look like I know it. It lights up the entire area. Bang, 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 bang. I'm not sure it fire this fast though. Pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> it sort of works, but not really. Because this is a very hard creation to fly Because the throttle isn't constantly on And like a lever or something I'm missing Bang 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 Go plump Okay now let's see how well this thing survives the crash do is climb to a very high altitude, altitude and overweb the engines. Okay, what we're gonna do is gonna need to um yeah. Should be overwhelming it. do that by turning off the coolant so the engines are just going to keep getting hotter and hotter as you can see I've turned off the pumps 
meaning the plane should take less time to overheat. It could be simulating like we've taken fire to one of our engines and we are going down. That's what we're going to be simulating for you today. So if I turn down the propeller pitch, it's absolutely no cool one. Okay, now is a good time. <laughs> maximum. Okay, both engines are on fire. Mayday, mayday. We are drifting. Like engines are losing power. We are smoking really badly. Oh no. Coming in for a crash landing. Oof, that was a lot less impactful. Um, is there a fire extinguisher in here? No, I don't think so. The best bet would be just get out of there. And start a fire. Anyway, I'm um, a really good creation. I highly recommend you checking it out. I'll have a link in the description below for it. Now, let's see what else we got. Uh, check that out, sort of, I want to do a specific video for that. Oh. Alright, I haven't checked out the King Tiger. Well, this isn't the King Tiger, this is the H1. This is the H1, I was with the H, what was it, the E. Tiger H1 or Tiger E. It's Tiger H1, so it's the oldest model of the Tiger 1. I'm pretty sure it's the oldest model. Well, that wasn't proto, a prototype design. And uh, let's grab. Okay. On. Okay. Parking brakes off, engine on. Okay, full steam ahead. I'm pretty sure you're not meant to max out the gears, but Stormworks doesn't play by no rules, and one of your helicopters can literally turn out like a bajillion miles per hour. Headlights. Full steam ahead. How fast we're going? Oh, we're going away on the max speed of the Tiger. Even though it rarely reached the speed because it's a tank. So don't be fooled by the max speed. It usually averages like 30. Okay, we're going to stop it. Gonna bang, 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 bang. Binos. Oh. Got <sighs> yeah. It's even got a bit of a scope. Yeah. Yeah. Ch. 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 spotted the target. Fires a flare. Fire. It's reloaded. Just imagine we're reloading the shell and fire. It's even got a bit of a jet engine or a rocket booster. Okay, three, two, one, fire. Okay, imagine we're reloading inside the tank. Fire! Bring in those, uh, like a few sh rocket shots in it. Still technically works. I think that was the final one. 
Oh no, it wasn't. Currently firing multiple 88 shells. Okay, that was the last rocket. Let's turn it to day. Let's finish off with a bit of a meme vehicle. <laughs> this little thing. Like this thing is like such good mode of transport. Go on, John, I cut the full steam ahead. Travel quickly, just use this thing. <laughs> Such a mean. The evil got on the underside with hello. This wasn't, wouldn't be a regular Stormax video if something didn't, well, what if I click the electric relay, something didn't crash and burn, even though something already has, okay. going down and there we go come on out to just above the tree line oh no no longer above the tree line oh no help Oh no, okay, we need to get out and teleport back. Anyway, I think well, I'm going to leave this episode of Stormax here, and if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.